Well, welcome back to Trojan Sports Now. Joining us now is Mike Murphy, Director of Special Events, to talk about a very special weekend coming up in Troy Sports. So, Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Great to be here. Now, let's get into this T-Club weekend, a very big weekend coming up. I know it's going to be a, a crazy, hectic weekend. I'm sure it's been crazy trying to get everything planned and organized uh, ahead of time. But what all do Trojan fans have to look forward to if they make it out to campus the weekend of April 20th? A lot. Uh, it's our first annual because you have to have a first annual, right? Absolutely. They have an annual. Uh, athletic Alumni Reunion. And we're doing this in conjunction with the uh, Troy University Sports Hall of Fame. And our goal is to reunite a lot of our athletic alumni back to the university where they have a chance to meet old friends, make new friends, and uh, rebuild that bond, so to speak, with the university. Not just athletics, but with the university as a whole. So we've got a lot of activities planned. On Friday, we're going to have a golf outing, not a golf tournament, but a golf outing at 11 o'clock out at Troy Country Club. At 11.30, there's the Troy Women's Athletic Luncheon, which is a gals-only event. I'm sure there's plenty of guys when I went to the gals-only <laughs> event. And uh, that night, we're going to have a tailgate at the baseball game. Uh, Troy takes on Arkansas Little Rock, and it's going to be a great opportunity on Friday to, as I said before, uh, make new friends, uh, reunite with old acquaintances, and then carry that on, on into Saturday, where at 10 o'clock, we're going to have a State of the Union, so to speak, on Troy Athletics on the fourth floor of the football tower, and that will proceed right into the T-Day spring game, which will be at 11 o'clock. And then, of course, that night, we've got the uh, Hall of Fame uh, banquet. So there's a lot going on, and it's, it's really a, a, an aim of ours to get as many athletic alumni as we can back on campus, and, and that's our hope in, in doing this event. I know that there's also going to be softball at home that weekend Correct, as yes, well. Yes. So there's just all kinds of stuff. So if you're able to make it out to campus, you can really get your money's worth and get in all the Troy sports that you could possibly get in the springtime for, for that whole weekend. That's exactly right. As I said, baseball Friday night at 6 o'clock. You've got baseball again Saturday at 1 o'clock, so you can go right from the spring game to baseball. You've got a doubleheader in softball at 12 and 2, and then the Hall of Fame banquet that night at 7.30. And all mixed in with this is our, our tea club event, which is our Letterman's Association, in trying to re re reunite those, those former athletic alumni with the university, with the golf on Friday, the women's luncheon, and then the, um, the tailgate, so to speak, at the baseball game on Friday night. I know we're getting into the spring practice schedule for the football team, and so I mean, it always seems like it's football season down here in the South. That seems to be the topic of exactly conversation right. all exactly the time. Right. But uh, getting into that spring schedule, I know this year is, is the first year in quite a while that the T-Day game has been the final scrimmage, but was that in, to include it in this weekend of, of the T-Club weekend? Yes, that's exactly right. Uh, in the past, we've done some different things. We've gone to Phoenix City, uh, the Columbus area, down to Dothan, et cetera, et cetera. But this year, Coach Blakeney wanted to have one prime game where it's going to be a true game and uh, we did that in conjunction with this alumni uh, weekend it, it, it all fits hand in glove and we think it's got the potential to be a, a tremendous event for all Trojans everywhere and of course that Saturday the 20th is is going to be the the madhouse day the day that everything is happening but it's all going to culminate that evening with the hall of fame ceremony now uh, just talk a little bit about that ceremony and, and what a special event that is going to be and, and how important it is for, for fans to go ahead and get their tickets and get out there. Well, get your tickets early. We, we do have some tickets available. We do have some tables available. Tickets are $100 a piece, or you can buy a table for $800. And with my public school education, it's eight seats to a table. So <laughs> no matter how you work it out, it's $100 a That's seat. Right. Uh, we've got a great class going. It's our second class, and it's going to be highlighted by Lawrence Tynes and, and Chan Gailey. Uh, and, and Willie tell us who have NFL backgrounds. Lawrence is a two-time Super Bowl champion. Coach Gailey was the head coach at the Cowboys and the Bills. And uh, Willie Tullis, who was here back in the day in the 70s, uh, ran back his first play as a Houston Oiler for a touchdown on a kickoff. Along with Joyce Sorrell, she's the, uh, the, the founder of women's athletics at, at Troy University. John Doc Anderson, a, a living and walking legend, literally, Absolutely. on the Troy campus. That's exactly right. Um, we're going to um, induct posthumously uh, Coach Archer, who was, a women, who was the men's basketball coach here for years and, and had a great career, along with two men from the 68 National Championship team, uh, Danny Grant and Bobby Inslin. Now, for fans who might not have been able to make it out to the first one, what was the response like for fans who were able to come out and be a part of this special, the inaugural first class? Shock and awe. It was first class. It really was. We have some people on our board who are involved with the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame and the College Football Hall of Fame, which is in New York. And to a man or a woman, they all said that this was by far the classiest event they've ever been to. The venue had a lot to do with that. Last year was the first 
time anyone had been in, been in the new Trojan Arena. That will host the event again this year. But when you take that venue along with this event, you have a first-class operation, and, and we think the same is going to happen this year. Well, and speaking of the Hall of Fame, you're not only getting to come to that event if you get your ticket, but you're getting to come to the venue where the Hall of Fame is housed and actually be able to, to take a look at that Hall of Fame facility and be able to, to experience everything there is to offer. That's right. We are fan friendly. It's easy to access. It's touch screen technology to pull up whoever you want to see that's in the hall and read about their background, listen to their introduction interviews and, and see some things that they've done with their accomplishments while they're here at Troy. And they get a chance to look at the venue. They can walk around the facility and see that it has to offer. So it's a great weekend for Trojan, uh, Trojans across the country to really be proud of who they are and what their alma mater stands for and have a chance to, like I said before, rebuild some old ties and create some new friendships when they get back on campus. Well, and, and the first Hall of Fame ceremony was last fall, so this time being pushed up to the spring for this purpose? Yes, exactly. We wanted to merge the two, the T-Club Athletic Alumni Reunion Weekend along with the Troy University Sports Hall of Fame, and we wanted to make sure that there were events on campus. We have that with the baseball games and the softball games. I think it's got the potential really to be a tremendous event, and I think it's got, got the potential to be a calendar-marking type of event where you know on this day, on this weekend, that, that third Saturday in April uh, will be the, the weekend you want to be on campus because of the Letterman's Association reunion and the Hall of Fame banquet. Now, once again, there are eight former Trojans that are being inducted this time around? That's exactly right. We have eight. All right. And so fans being able to come out are, are not only going to get to, to see them inducted, but get to check out the facility and be able to meet some very impressive people. I know you're talking well, about Well, I mean, think Times. about this. Last year we had DeMarcus Ware. Right. Who is, who is still active in the NFL. Absolutely. We had uh, Billy Atkins, who coached the 68 team, was an all-conference selection in the NFL. This year we've got Chan Gailey, the former head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, is the former head coach of the Troy Trojans when they won the 84 uh, Division II National Championship. You've got Lawrence Tynes, a two-time Super Bowl champion, is going to be on campus. He was an all-conference kicker for Troy when we were 1AA. On top of that, you've got John Doc Anderson, who's been involved with three Olympic teams wow. as, as an athletic trainer. You've got Joyce Sorrell, who's been here since the beginning of time and has really brought women's athletics to the university. You've got Willie Tullis, who, as I said before, was an eighth-round draft pick, spent nine or ten years in the NFL. His first play, he runs back a kickoff for the Houston Oilers for a touchdown. Then you've got the Archer group, who was just a tremendous, I mean, George Archer was a tremendous basketball coach. And then you've got the two guys from the 68 team, Danny Grant and Bobby Inslin. Interesting note on Danny Grant. To this day, he owns 14 of the 16 receiving records for Troy football. Wow. And think about how the game is played today. It's basketball on grass. It's wide open. Right. And he still holds 14 wow. of 16 passing records, and that says something about how they played under Coach Atkins back in the day. I mean, listening to that and, and all the people that are going to be there, it doesn't get much better than that. It really doesn't. It's a chance to live Troy athletics history, and it's well worth the price of admission. Well, and once again, remind the folks how they can get involved and be able to come participate in this event. Contact Helen Shirey or myself at the athletic department or access the Troy Trojans athletic website. It'll have information on that and we'll get you the information you need in terms of seating, tables, sponsorships, anything you need. We're one-stop shopping and, and, and we'll get you in the banquet. All you got to do is call and make your reservation. But do it now. We do have some tables and chairs available, but they are going quickly, as they say, as the days go by. Well, absolutely. I would expect so. Now, before we let you go, let's go over the entire schedule for the weekend one more time because sure. there's lots and we don't want anybody to forget no, about is. all the events. That's exactly right. Friday, April 19th at 11 o'clock, there's a golf outing. Man, woman, it doesn't matter. There's a golf outing at Troy Country Club. At 1130, there's the Troy University Women's Luncheon. Now, they also have daycare, so if you bring little Timmy, he may feel like Custer at his last stand because he's going to be surrounded, but at 1130, you've got the Troy Women's Athletic Luncheon. At 530, we have the tailgate on the, on the uh, tailgate terrace in conjunction with the Troy University baseball game. They're playing Arkansas Little Rock. Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, we've got a State of the Union, so to speak, for Troy Athletics on the fourth floor of the football tower. That will lead directly into the spring game, which will start at 11. At 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock, you've got a softball doubleheader. At 1 o'clock, you have a baseball game, once again against UALR. And then at 7.30, you've got the, uh, you've got the Hall of Fame, Fame uh, banquet. And then on Sunday morning, or Sunday, I should say afternoon, you've got baseball and softball once again. So my advice is make sure you're well hydrated. <laughs> make sure you're well rested. 
and, and carb up because you're going to need it for the weekend. That's right. You better come prepared because you need there's to come lots prepared. To, That's exactly right. There's lots to be involved with. Well, Mike, certain to be a very exciting weekend, and hopefully uh, people will come out and be able to form those new connections and maybe rekindle some old ones. That's exactly right. You know how the fish starts. I caught a fish this big, now I'm this big. Exactly. You know, you go from being a, a sub to a starter to an All-American. <laughs> there you it's go. going to be a great weekend. Absolutely. Well, Mike, thanks so much for stopping by, and we're looking forward to the April 20th weekend. Thank you. Thanks so much. Trojan Sports Now.